Hello, and today's session is chapter number one, and we're going to be looking at health needs. The aims and objectives of today's session, so by the end of today's session, you will be able to recognise and outline physical, social and emotional needs, and you will be able to describe factors that can affect individuals' health. So to, before we look at today's questions, I want to give you some information that will support you when you are answering the questions. And I want to introduce you to Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And you will see it's a triangle. And within the triangle, there are five different needs. Um, it's a five-stage model. And we work from the triangle from the bottom up to the top. Um, Maslow is a theory. So it's a theory that um, you know these five needs are, are what you need to survive. Um, you can do yourself some research, more research, if you are interested in this theory because there's a lot of information out there and I'm just going to talk you through it as, as basic as I can just for you to understand um, a little bit about it. So we look at the bottom, we start from the bottom as I said and um, at the side of each one there are some notes as well which will help you understand what each need is. So the first one is the physiological need which um, for example it says there's food it's so that we need food, water and rest. So before anything else, we actually need to have food, we need to have water, and we need to have rest, sleep. So we need to make sure we have those needs before we can move up to the next need. The next need is safety, and the example there is security. So um, some examples of security could be um, having the roof over our head. Um, we have laws in place, we have the police for feeling safe um, in society, in our homes, um, as I say, you know, and, and just feeling safe, so then that we can we can move on to the next one, which is love and belonging. So love and belonging is about having having friends, having relationships, um, intimate relationships. You may have um, a partner, you may be married, um, and you have, have have lots of friends, your family. All those all those come under the love and belonging. Then we move up the triangle. Esteem, so feeling accomplished. So this could be have been independent, um, achieving, um, having an achievement. And then from, from those four, we move to the top one, which is self-actualization, which is achieving one's full potential. So you could say starting from the bottom and having a goal and then actually achieving that goal at the top, that you feel that you've achieved your full potential. Now, when we move on to the next slide, we're going to talk about, um, you know, in an ideal world, this would be absolutely amazing if everybody were to achieve these five different needs, starting from the bottom, working the way up, and actually having all those needs. But actually, in real life, it doesn't always work like that. So this slide is... Um, Another slide which supports similar things that we talked about on the last one, and it's looking at health needs, emotional needs, and social needs. So if you look at health needs, so sleeping, to get enough sleep to feel refreshed. Eating, to eat a balanced diet, to get vitamins and minerals. Exercise, to move around and keep the body active and the organs healthy. And especially in the current climate that we're living in, where we're actually, you know, we're having to spend a lot of time in our own homes because of the COVID-19 virus. So exercise is really important. And even if we are in the home, you know, to get up and to move around as much as we can just to keep our body, like it says, active. Elimination, so to use the toilet regularly for bowel and bladder movement to prevent infections or other problems. Emotional needs, so security, like we said before, a place to live and to feel safe. A choice to feel like we're in control of our own lives. Privacy, so to have time and space on our own when we need it. A sense of achievement, so to fail, to raise self-esteem and confidence, we need to accomplish things. Social needs, so attention, so to give attention to people and receive attention from others. To be connected emotionally, so to feel like we have friendship, love and intimacy. We need to be connected to the wider community, to feel connected to something greater than ourselves. So it could be working, volunteering, sports, 
vaccines. Now, again, that's another one, another issue that currently, you know, this is affecting the uh, the virus is affecting um, us feeling connected because we're not able to socialise like we usually do. You know, people are finding other ways of socialising um, through the internet, through, um, you know, obviously we're doing this course remotely because we're not able to, um, and unfortunately we're not able to be in the classroom environment where we would get to know everybody a lot better than we are when we're doing it online. But, you know, we're finding other ways of doing it and we are still able to communicate through those ways. A sense of status, just to feel valued amongst the groups that we socialise with. And here's another little slide, another fun little slide on health needs. There's some little pictures on there, um, and it's just to sort of, you know, to, 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 to recap that everyone has physical, emotional and social needs to maintain good health. So you're going to look at the workbook now and you're going to look at chapter one and the health needs workbook um, and you're going to, we're going to be looking at question number one and outlining two of your own physical, emotional and social health needs. Okay, so as we said earlier, everyone has physical, emotional and social needs to maintain good health. Physical could be food, water, shelter, safety and security, fresh air, hygiene and exercise, emotional, so love, emotional support, a sense of belonging and positive relationships, and social, so that's independence, stimulation, so that's keeping busy, self-esteem, social interaction and friends. So what I want you to do now, I want you to look at question number one and I want you to think of two examples, so two physical, two emotional and two social needs that you yourself, so this is about you yourself, thinking about you, what are your emotional, what are your physical and what are your social needs? Now, I've given you an example of one each of mine. I'll just talk you through them. So my physical needs are that I need to exercise on a daily basis to help to keep myself fit and active, which then will lead to a longer, healthier life. I exercise every day. I absolutely love the gym. And, and if I don't do it, you know, I, I just don't feel good. Um, it doesn't have to be a really long exercise. It might be going for a walk. It might be a run. And I actually do go to the gym as well. Um, and do some weightlifting and things like that. So, you know, that is one of my physical needs. My emotional needs, so I need to feel that I am loved and appreciated by the people close to me. So I'm married, I've got two children and a granddaughter, and I've got two, two uh, daughter-in-laws. And, um, you know, I feel, um, that I, you know, that I, want, that I feel I'm loved by them, and that obviously is my emotional need. And my social needs, so I need to keep in contact with my family and friends on a regular basis to keep up to date what is happening in their lives. So, um, as I said before, you know, I've got um, I've got children, I've got grandchildren, a granddaughter, and um, I, I really like to keep in touch with them to find out. So I want you to think of two for each one and write it in your workbook, um, and that will um, answer question um, number one. And just make sure that you sign and date the page once you've finished that. So we're moving on to question number two in our workbook. And we need to be thinking now about what factors can affect our health. So we've talked about um, Maslow's hierarchy of needs and what needs we need to, um, you know, to feel accomplished and feel happy. We've looked at um, the last slide is the last question looking at our individual needs um, and we need to look at factors that can affect our health you know what can get in the way of us meeting these needs so you'll see on this slide there's some pictures on there some little um, short video things clips so have a look at all those for a few minutes have a think about what they could be maybe in, in your head or you can make a few notes at looking at what are these factors on these pictures that actually can affect our health. So on this slide we have some of the things that, that affect our health, some of the factors, so illness. So you know people can get ill and, and obviously currently you know like we said earlier on the other slide with the COVID-19, the coronavirus, you know illness is affecting um, a lot of people's health. Disability, 
So somebody who has a disability, that can affect their, their health. Housing, we've talked before about having a roof over our head and feeling safe and secure. So if we've not got that, um, that you know, if we're not in a good housing, we could be in a housing where they might be damp in the room, we might not have access to a garden. So, you know, these sort of things might affect our health. Poverty, so, you know, people living in poverty, which can be um, uh, to buy money and things like that. And if you're living in poverty, that again can affect our health because we've not got money to buy healthy food or even food to, you know, to survive. And obviously that can affect our health. Unemployment, and again, unemployment is a massive part of society. And with the virus, it's just, it, 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 it's more and more unemployment because people are um, are not able to work, so they may be losing their jobs and not earning them as much as they were. Pollution, so pollution is a massive part of um, our society as well. Um, and actually, um, you know, one of the things that people are saying just lately is because of aviation and the airplanes not flying, you know, the, the, the skies are a lot clearer because there's not uh, as many airplanes up in the sky, not as many cars on the road, so the pollution is, is um, being reduced slightly. Um, the environment that we live in, the lifestyle that we live, smoking and drug use, alcohol use, these all affect our health, being overweight, exercise and diet and um, they can come under um, in under other under things as well we talked about poverty before so poverty if we can't afford to eat a healthy diet then obviously that can affect our, our weight um, or some people can um, only you know if you're eating like um, unhealthy having an unhealthy diet can of course us to be overweight and to be obese which then can lead to um, other other problems as well. Okay, so we come um, to question number two, and the question is asking you to describe the factors that affect an individual's health. So it's asking you to describe. So we need to give some examples um, and two to three sentences. Um, and I've given you some examples. So you can start your sentence. Remember, start your sentence with start your answer with your question. So, for example, there are many factors that can affect individuals' health, such as poor diet, which can lead to obesity, anorexia, and eating disorders. Another factor that can affect an individual's health is smoking. Smoking is a main cause of cancer and can lead to death. So, there's a couple of examples, um, but I want you to write them in, in your workbook. I want you to sign and date the page, but remember to write in sentences and to give some examples of what the factor, how that might affect individuals' health. 